Hi guys, I'm Sarah. And I'm Christine from Glow Recipe. So today we're really excited to walk you through our travel beauty routines. We have actually been showing you on Instagram how we sheet mask and sheet mask again. <laughs> <laughs> and just go through with some crazy routines, but they're actually pretty simple. So we'll just walk you through our favorite routines. And then Christine, you were just on your flight to Korea recently. Yeah, I just got back last week. A little bit jet lag, <laughs> I won't lie. But it's actually one of the most commonly asked questions. Like we, yeah. you guys have been asking, how do we sheet mask on the plane? Where are we washing our faces? So we're gonna walk <laughs> you through step by step. So we each brought our travel bags. Yeah, they look the same. <laughs> um, this is actually the bag that we use for our 10 days to glow sheet mask kit. Um, but the bags are perfectly sized for yeah. our sheet masks. So let's just open our bags and show you what we have each. Do you want to start with yours? Let's just start with yeah. yours. Yeah. So let's actually start off with cleansing. You want to make sure you're always masking on a clean face. You should never ever wear a sheet mask on top of makeup or a dirty face because that will seal in those elements. So I actually carry around this deluxe pouch of the watermelon and blueberry cleanser. Yeah. And then I use a mist to keep my skin moist until I board the plane so my skin is not drying out. So the sheet masks I use this time during the flight are the IDAZ moisturizing mask and the Safe Me Relief Mask. This one only has 15 ingredients, really clean list. So as a last step, you usually use a moisturizer or something emollient to seal in all the benefits of a sheet mask or an oil. But I usually use our watermelon mask. And then to help sleep, I really love sleeping in dark rooms. I love this too. So this is my favorite, favorite eye mask. It's terry on both sides, which makes it so easy to wash. Super so soft. Flush. That your so, love your routine. Mine is similar um, <laughs> in that I have two bags. <laughs> One is our Glow Recipe Glow Box bag. These are so tiny that you can carry it everywhere. And then in my pouch, I have, let's see, <laughs> I have two double layer masks from Make Prem and another sheet mask from Make Prem that is called Blending Me Nourishing Oil Mask. Mm. Then I have. Same as you. Yep. Pommy says olive mist. Pommy says by Glow Recipe Chai Tea Eye Cream. Mm. And then I have I'm Pro Ampoule Pad. This is a vitamin C pad. And then I have Make Prem's Blu ray sunscreen. SPF. SPF. I have more, two more. <laughs> and I have Jelly Pack in the deluxe size. And then I have Cool Enough Studio Mirror. Very sure. cute. When you put on a sheet mask, it's always yeah. important to see if it's covering the entire face, so this really helps. Perfect. So, on this flight, I actually filmed some segments to show you guys how it's done. Um, and a lot of this requires your hands, right? So, a good thing, another thing to remember is to wash your hands right before you start any skincare activities on the plane. You don't want to touch yeah. anything that's touched the screen or the remote control and then have that touch <laughs> your face. I do carry cleansing wipes actually, yeah. um, just in case my hands get dirty or sometimes when you're running around and you don't really have time to wash your face before so the true. flight, you just need something to yeah. clean your face. So that's an emergency backup option. I recommend washing your face with either a blueberry cleanser, any cleanser that you might have before you're on the flight. So this blueberry cleanser is great to use before the flight because it's like a three-in-one cleanser. It yeah. removes makeup. It deep cleans and then it kind of takes the place of a toner because your, your skin doesn't feel stripped at all afterwards. So what I like to do in the meantime is wipe my skin or sweat my skin with vitamin C. And this is a really cool pad that is drenched in sorbic acid, which I think is 10% of the entire formula. And you just sweep gently and then press the formula onto your cheeks, your forehead, and then just under your mouth and you're done in like five seconds. Yeah. It's really simple. And then once I'm buckled in on the plane, even before takeoff, I'm putting on sheet mask number one. 
-hmm. And I love both of them because they're both kind of sheer. These two, I felt like they were a good way to get my sheet mask on without, you know, startling the flight attendants <laughs> right away. I have and, no shame. I'm yeah. just gonna do it. <laughs> and then later, I'll ease into whatever mask yeah. I want to try. But this was a good starter mask. When you put a sheet mask on in the plane, you want to make sure you're still smoothing it out fully. And I leave it on for maybe 5 to 10 minutes. I don't go overboard. Actually, I love taking the mask off when it's still wet. I don't like the feeling of even remotely um, drying out the skin. So this is my personal tip to just mm -hmm. take it off in 10 minutes. Well, that's actually a really good point because you know on the directions it usually says 10 to 20 minutes. On a plane to Sarah's point because it's drier than the Sahara Desert, think about that. The sheet masks all dry out faster. So you want to make sure you're checking your sheet mask so that it's wet yeah. on both sides. If it's starting to even the hint of dryness, starting you feel that, you need to take it off immediately. Otherwise, it will start sucking the moisture back out of your skin. So we have two options from the Double Effect uh, Layering Mask from Make Brand. The first one is the Firming Mask, and then the second is Soothing. Soothing. And this one might scare people around you because it has ear hooks, it has a neck flap, and then it's pretty <laughs> intense. It comes in two layers. I love that they give such long-lasting hydration. So for me, these are must-haves for long flights. This one, you can leave it on for a good like full movie, Sweet. and it still won't dry. All right, so after sheet masking, make sure to pat in that good essence so it's sinking into your skin. And then I use an eye cream. So usually we say use an eye cream before your serum step so that you're protecting the delicate eye area. Your eye area is the driest and the most delicate area of the entire skin. Um, this one is my personal favorite. Um, we just launched it. It's called Chai Tea Eye Cream. It was a collaboration of Hwamisa and Glow Recipe. And chai tea is really, really rich in antioxidants. But it also has turmeric, which helps to brighten the eye area. So. Also in this pouch is this mini 10 ml size watermelon mask and I just mix it up really well with my fingers and then apply it to the skin and the texture is really really, how do you say it, like jelly like. So it's really great to give myself a quick facial massage. One mm -hmm. thing in the plane is that your circulation is not the greatest because you're not moving around and you're sitting for like 10 and 14 hours straight. So I like to do a little massage just to wake up the skin. So after applying this, I actually go straight to bed. Oh, yeah. So you have it on for multiple hours? I have it on for many, many hours. I love that it doesn't dry out on the plane. I just pat in the watermelon uh, mask a little bit more around the eye area to make sure it's not getting on the mask. <laughs> and then go straight to bed. Um, sleeping masks are really, really great because it's so low maintenance and you can just use it and it works so hard while you sleep. So I also love using this watermelon glow sleeping mask. So this is a sun cushion. It's a compact. It actually doesn't have a shade. It's like a neutral sunscreen, but once again, love products where you don't have to use your hands on the plane. So yeah. I just pat this all over to make sure my skin is protected. It also has Sika extract in it, mm. which is really, really great to soothe the skin after a long plane ride. And then I'm done. And then for me, these are really, really critical steps before getting off the plane. Um, J1 Jelly Pack is such a great mask slash a primer that you can use before an SPF or makeup. It helps to plump the skin and also just kind of smooth the skin surface overall. The last step, but not least, is the sunscreen. So we can't say um, enough about this product and mm -hmm. how amazing it is. It's Make Brands Blu-ray Sun Gel. So what's great about this product is that it has SPF 50 and it comes in a nice, almost like a lotion-y texture but it just disappears and melts into your skin instantly. So I love that about it. In the plane, you can fall asleep, but right before um, you fall asleep for five minutes, just take the time to pamper yourself, take care of your skin, go through the routine. It doesn't have to be extensive. You can literally just have cleanser, sheet mask, and a moisturizer too. It really depends on how you want to customize your routine. And then just wake up to glowing and radiant skin. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Get your, Get your glow, glow on. on.